Armenian Parliament on Friday rejected the bill on making amendments and additions to the new tax code. The bill was presented by Yelk faction. According to the grounds for this law proposal, due to the new tax code that entered into force on January 1st, the increase in the tax rates on energy resources has resulted in a rise in the prices of these sources and essential goods in Armenia. A motion recognizing the Armenian Genocide has been presented in the Tweedy Khmer, the lower house of the Dutch parliament, on Thursday. The motion was authored by Christian Unier parliamentarian Joël Wordewind. The document proposes to send a Dutch minister to the commemoration of the Armenian Genocide in Yerevan each April. An Armenian general has been appointed commander of the Armenian-Russian Joint Troops Detachment. President Ser Sarkisyan signed a degree on appointing Major General Tikran Parvanyan to this post. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan received the U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson in Ankara on Thursday. The meeting, which was close to the media, lasted more than three hours. Details of the meeting were not released to the media but U.S. State Department spokesman said the officials had a productive, open conversation about the ways to improve U.S.-Turkey relations. The exchange rate for 1 euro exceeded 602 drums on Friday, increasing by 1.67 drums as compared to Thursday. The American dollar's exchange rate against the Armenian drum comprised 480.94 drums per $1. Arsenal midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan has been named the man of the match after the Gunners' UEFA Europa League 3-0 win against Östersund. The captain of the Armenian national football squad, who made two assists in the game, received 63% of the respective votes.